All right, so right here we have our mystery tackle box. Oh, I got one. You just ate it. You just ate it. Got him. Oh, yes. There's one. Got him. He's on. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're out here and today's video is actually sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. Today we have a box out here, brand new of the month, and we're gonna open this thing up and complete a full on slam. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure that subscribe button for me. I would really appreciate it. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Also, I am gonna be giving away a Mystery Tackle Box in this video to one of you guys, so make sure to stay tuned and figure out how to win one. But we're about to go ahead, crack this thing open and see what's inside. All right, so right here, we have our mystery tackle box for the month. If you guys wanna actually go and pick up your own mystery tackle box, you guys can actually hit the link down below in the description. And you guys can also use Logan at checkout and save some money off of your first box. And I think you can get it for as little as $10, which is an absolute deal for this box because it is absolutely loaded. But before I actually show you guys what's inside, I wanna tell you guys how you guys can actually win a mystery tackle box for free. Make sure to watch out for scams. That's a lot of birds. They're making a lot of noise. Make sure to watch out for scams in the comment section. If you guys get a comment and it's telling you to contact a number or telegram or some weird thing like that, that is not me. I do not have a telegram. I don't give out my number. I do everything through the business email in the description. So make sure to be careful in the comment section. If you guys click on my channel or I comment back to you guys, there will be a little gray bar on my comment and on my name that is telling you that it is me so be careful make sure to watch out for scams and all you guys have to do to win this box is be subscribed to the channel and also comment down below what is your favorite item in the box so let me go ahead let me show you guys what's inside all right so we have our box let's go ahead let's crack this thing open and let me show you guys what we have inside we're going to start off with my personal favorite of the box which is the z-man stealth blade jackhammer and if you guys know the jackhammer this this is a big deal. This is probably one of the most popular bladed jigs. And uh, this is the Stealth Blade, which I've actually never tried. It looks like it has a smaller blade and it's also clear. So that's gonna be very interesting to try out, but it's in the spot remover color, which is one of my favorites. Next in the box, we have a little crankbait right here. We have the x -Sight. Looks like just a, uh, a, a blushing shad. That's the name of it. That's actually kind of a cool name. But uh, it's a little square bill. Can't go wrong with that, especially in the springtime. Next, we have the J. Lee Comeback Jig, which I have actually never seen. It looks like a little football jig. Pretty natural color. Looks like a, a little green pumpkin action, which uh, you can't go wrong with a jig either. Pretty much everything in this box is going to catch you a fish. And to go on that jig right there, we have the perfect trailer. We have the net bait bee bug which actually looks really cool and it's in a really cool color which is the sun gill swirl that sounds like an ice cream flavor i'm not even gonna lie it looks pretty good I'm, i might have to take a bite i'm just kidding i'm not gonna eat it maybe uh next up we have some spear point hooks they're pretty unique pretty interesting and uh they're three odd last but not least in the box we have a 13 fishing bubble butt worm i've actually used these i loved them mainly because of the name i thought it was hilarious but these are in like a green pumpkin looks pretty good pretty natural honestly this box is pretty solid all the way around we should get on some fish today and i say should because we had a little cold front come in and it's been like really windy and really cold so i'm hoping the fish aren't too messed up but uh with this nice box we have right here we should get on them but uh we also have a little sticker in there oh it's upside down that actually looks pretty cool. You got, a, you got a nice bass chasing a crankbait. Hopefully that's gonna be happening in the pond today. We got the what's inside. Tells you what's in your box so you can go buy as many of them as you want, stock up for the springtime. And you also got a dibble. And also we got a little card right here that I might read about the, uh, the jackhammer and how it does all that cool stuff that it shows in the picture right there. That right there is our mystery tackle box for the month. Honestly, pretty loaded box. I feel good about it. I think we can maybe knock out a slam. Uh, looking at it, I think there's like one or two lures I'm a little worried about with this pond, but I definitely think with enough cast and dedication, we can get this done. So I'm gonna go ahead, tie up all this stuff, and we're gonna go out and catch some fish. All right, so right here we have our mystery tackle box that we're gonna be tying up all of our lures and attempting a slam, which is where we catch a fish on every single lure in this box. So today, in order to complete this, we have two setups right here because that is all we're gonna need. I know it looked like there was a lot of lures in the box, but hear me out, this is my game plan for the day. All right, so right here we have a muscle rod, which uh, is a really good jig rod. 
So we're gonna get our jig right here out of the box, our little uh, football jig, I'm guessing. And we're gonna pair it up with the net bait. Look at that combo. That thing is going to be filthy. I am really hoping that these smaller fish in the pond can grab this, because if not, it's gonna be tough for the slam. Then we have our jackhammer, which I am very, very excited about. This thing catches fish left and right, and it's in a really good color. So we're gonna take this, and instead of fishing it by itself, we're gonna put the put the old bubble butt on the back of this thing. Now, I know it might not match exactly, but it's still gonna put off a lot of action. So there we go. We have four lures into two, so we're, we're combining. And then all we'll be left with is this Excite crankbait. With that being said, we basically have three baits that we're gonna be throwing today, and we're gonna be knocking them all out and hopefully completing the slam. So there's only one thing left to do, and that is to uh, put our mystery tackle box to use and catch fish on all of our lures. So let's go ahead, tie these things up. Let's get on them. All right, so we got our two rods rigged up. We are ready to go. We have our baits ready. And honestly, feeling pretty confident. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna see. Maybe the fish are biting and they wanna help us complete the slam. All right, we're gonna walk out to the uh, first spot here. See if we can't maybe find a few fish. One thing about this pond though, the fish like to kind of sit up shallow on this wall, so we're not going to get up, get too close and spook them. Or kind of on the smaller side, but hey, a fish is a fish. We just got to complete this slam. We're going to start off with the old Stealth Blade Jackhammer, which I've actually never used, and that's one thing I love about Mystery Tackle Box. There's always something new in the box, and there's always a kicker in the box. And I definitely think this is the combination of both. Got a uh, clear little blade. It's a good color, and then we have that little bubble butt on there looking pretty good i definitely think this is going to be the easy i literally see a fish it might be on a bed too we're gonna cast it by it real quick oh this thing oh i got one first cast i spooked the one off the bed come on oh it's gonna be a good day literally first cast he could not resist the bubble butt on the back of this jackhammer wow i feel like we didn't even really get to test out this stealth blade jackhammer that i've never used because it just worked too good look at that jackhammer bubble butt bass baby yes nice green one. Oh, look at him he's got his spring colors on dang we spooked that one off that bed though but hey at least we got one. Oh, he just came back oh yeah i'm about to chunk the jig on him there we go fish number one bait two bait one and two knocked off let me sneak down here and toss this little guy back so i can catch this other one dang it i just spooked him okay he's still in the area he's on a bed see you buddy back up real quick well we already knocked out one bait that's a good sign let's go ahead and grab the second combo this is a pretty big jig right here if you can't tell this jig does look really good though that thing that you call a bed which doesn't really look like one means that they should be others all right this should get smoked if they're real aggressive and wanting to eat something that's moving because they're scared it's going to get on their bed. So I think we, we knock this out and then save the jig for last because the jig is going to be the most difficult. Not because it's going to be hard to get a bite on it. It's just going to be hard to hook these little fish with that bigger jig, but we're going to get it done. Oh, come on, man. I know there's a fish hanging around over here. I want to knock this crankbait off. Oh, there's one. Got him. Oh, he came off. No. No. Oh, there, there's one. Oh, my God. He came off again. Oh, my gosh. We can't be losing fish like this, man. We have a slam on our hands, all right? We got to get this knocked out. These fish have had their opportunities, all right? We've had like three bites. Come on. They don't eat it within three bites. It's time to move. It's time to move. We got this. We got this. Confidence was not lost, all right? We're still getting consistent bites. We have two baits left, and we're done. All right, I wouldn't lie to you guys. I'm absolutely terrified for this journey we're about to make, all right? We're walking through the woods, and literally everything looks the same. If I see a snake... 
my plan is number one to scream like a little girl and number two is to run away and that's gonna solve that problem why do snakes have to have camouflage like them being able to slither around on the ground isn't creepy enough let's just give them camouflage and make my life harder and then like there's sticks everywhere they look like snakes all right last time i about fell through the bridge when i stepped on it so i'm gonna try not to do that oh gosh oh my god all the little bait Oh, there's a fry. That's not bait. That's fry, I think. They're literally swimming all around me. Where'd that fish just go? I think they're all around. They're trying to come eat this fry, which is kind of bullyish. I feel like I need to be in the area. Oh, what's my? Oh, he just ate it. He just ate it. He just ate it. Got him. Oh, yes. Yes. He came off. Oh my gosh. That was probably the only one we were going to get. No. Oh, I literally saw him eat it. Come on, man. He, he got down there. He was, whoa, you know? Oh my gosh, we're never going to catch another one on this jig. Oh, one's behind it, one's behind it, one's behind it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. He just ate it, he just ate it. God, he's so small. No, my jig. He didn't get a hook, he didn't get a hook. Get me back in there, get me back in there. They like the jig, they're just tiny. I, I see them eat it though. It's like every time I go to set the hook, they spit it out. All right, so I'm 0 for 2 on this jig bite. And I've seen both of them sit there and eat it and swim off with it. But yet, I'm still 0 and 2. Oh, I got another one. I got another one. He just picked it up. No mistakes, baby. He's off. Oh, my gosh. I knew this jig was too big, man. These fish are never going to get it. This is a trick that I don't know if it works, but it sounds like it would. We're going to cut this cut this, this uh, weed guard a little bit. Oh, my gosh. Just kidding. It's very strong. All right. Uh, next, next plan. This should be on the easier side to hook these fish. Hopefully. I don't know if they're going to react to it as much. I think these fish know that I'm here. It's okay, little fry. I'll protect you. You don't got nothing to worry about. I've scared off all the fish in the in the area. I mean, this is ridiculous. Where's you guys' mother? Like, why am I over here protecting you? Like, this ain't, this ain't right. This ain't how this works. You know, I think the thing about these fish are that since they're small, they like a little bit of opportunity to eat this thing when it stops. That was like even with the jig. So we're gonna reel it and then we're gonna stop it every now and then and see if we can't get a bite. There's one. Got him, he's on. There we go. Keep him on this side, stay on, stay on, stay on. Dot flip, got him. There we go. That was on the paws too, by one treble. We almost lost that fish. We got one on the crank. What a beaut, man. Tiny, but what a beaut. See you later, go tell your buddies. I have a jig over here for them and they can have it for free as long as i hang on to it if i miss another fish i might go insane but hey it's a bite actually bites mean nothing we need the fish <laughs> we can't win this slam off of a bite we need it off of a fish all right no more games to be played i'm in it to win it right now i need these fry to cooperate if i'm over here being the protector of you guys i at least need you to go out there and be bait all right we gotta have a we gotta have a system here Oh man, this ain't good. We gotta get this jig knocked out. All right, so we are back for day number two of our mystery tackle box slam. The other day it got too dark. We weren't catching any fish. And uh, I honestly should have just roughed it out because now it's really cold. We had a cold front and uh, we have one more bait to knock out, which is the, uh, the jig right here, which we actually had a fish on the other day. I think we had like two or three on and we, they just came off and we cannot lose this slam. We've come too far. We've worked too hard to lose. So, it's cold. I'm going to rough it out. We're going to try and catch one on this jig to complete the slam. And uh, wish me luck because it's, it's pretty cold out. Well, sadly... It's not gonna happen. It was uh, it was a rough day. Well, actually, the first day was pretty good. We were on some fish. We had opportunities with the jig. We were catching fish left and right. And then the cold front came in and just completely screwed everything up. And I'm freezing and I can't feel my hands, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the L on the slam. We came close, but we did not complete it. Sadly, if I really wanted to, I probably could. But right now. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't want to. It's too cold. 
I was used to the warm and then it got cold again and I hate the cold. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to tap out. But like I said, I am going to be giving away a mystery tackle box to one of you guys. So make sure to watch through the video and uh, comment your favorite bait in the box. Be subscribed and uh, you guys have a chance to win your very own free mystery tackle box. And if you guys want to pick one up, a subscription for yourself, it'll be linked down below in the description. You guys can go check it out and use Logan at checkout and save some money off your first box. But if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay fishing.